Hello everybody, this is Dream Gamer Year for the quarterfinal round. In this session, we're going to see Maastrichtian going up against Iron Dan, a rematch from the group stage. Champions team going up against Dragon Destroyer, our host Stranger Gamer taking on Marn. And then, what will probably be a very controversial matchup between Dino Hunter and Cheer Knights. That match is last. Let's get on with our first match, shall we? Ooh. Good news if you're Maastrichtian. Right, in the red corner for Maastrichtian, we have got Brontokins. Maastrichtians enjoyed a very strong tournament, especially for the for the first time. But, well, like I've said a million times, you're going to do well when you've got Brontokins and you're after in your team. Then again, tell that to Shindominus who had Eokarkiria in the Oraptor. Yeah. It's a toss-up really, but yeah, Master should enjoy a really good tournament and ooh, it's a Mega Raptor. Funny enough, I think in the group stage match, Eoraptor became Mega Raptor. Master should, yeah, yeah it did, I, I remember the match now. Because he got like three ties off, but didn't get Sonic Blast. I was like, oh, well, come on, Iron Dan's getting lucky. You yeah, should have lost already. Although it was a close match, and I hope it'll be another close match here today. Right, for Iron Dan, in the blue corner, we got Stegosaurus. Iron Dan, definitely the surprise package of this knockout round. Defeating Ultimate Dino King and Blood Moon to get here. And well, if they win this match as well, then that'd be another surprise victory given that they did lose to Master Shin in the group stage. And not there's the Super Spino. One issue that Iron Dan does have though is that the Eoraptor will have to rain for much. Right, let's see how this map plays out this time. Master Shin getting the first hit on the board. dive there. A probable cyclone. And that is a very solid start from Maastrichtian. Ooh, another hit. Iron Dan yet to get going. Another Tutu dive. Uh, not time to swap out yet for Iron Dan. Oh, the crit! Down goes the stag. And this is a very good start for Maastrichtian, and not a good start for Iron Dan, getting battered right away. Alright, Super Spino, you've got to earn your dough here, mate. Ooh, Iron Dan finally gets a hit on the board, can do with a six here. Okay, a four's not too bad. At least he's doing some damage. That's twice. Oh, the crap! Okay, yeah, I, I think this is going to be the end for Iron Dan. Hard to see him coming back into this. Especially with the Mega Raptor doing support effects as well. He got the Awaken mode, but needs a crit here. Oh, it doesn't even get it. Okay, yeah, this is, well... Oh, wait. Oh my god, he's not even getting the Awaken mode. Oh, he, he will get it. Well, can't iron down, this is it. Your tournament's hanging on by a thread here. Get a crit, come on. Ooh, ooh, might. Come on, please be rock, please be rock. Oh, <laughs> oh I'm sorry, I ain't done. I'm genuinely sorry. Well, I'm genuinely disappointed because their first match was actually quite close, but this one, well, Maastrichtian has just dominated. And yeah, that was really, that's a really tough way for Iron Dan to go out the tournament, especially given how well they did to get this far, but yeah. 
that's all she wrote for Iron Man. The the, the the dream run ends at the quarters. And it's Maastrichtian marching on to the semis. Right, on to our next matchup now. Well, will the champions team put an end to Dragon Destroyer's winning streak? Ooh, they might on this field. In the red corner for the champions team, we've got Alpha Kazmasaurus, the champions team, narrowly defeating El Gozzi in the last 16 round to get here. Can they be the first ever bot team to reach a semi-final? And well, at that point, can they be the first bot team to win a tournament? Backing up the Kazmasaurus, we've got Rugox. I should address the whole debate about having bot teams in this tournament because some people don't like the idea of having them in the tournament and then some like at the end of the day when you do a group stage format you gotta have a you know you've got to have an ideal number of combatants to work with and i had 42 human entries do you know how awkward of a number 42 is to work with in terms of a group stage format such an awkward number to work with If I added six bot teams, which I did, that becomes 48, which is a much more kinder number to work with. And like, if people don't enter before the deadline, then that's, that's their fault. I don't extend the deadline for the sake of one person, because one person wants to enter. You enter before the deadline, or you don't get in. You know, lateness is rude. Right, if I... Spent time babbling on there and I didn't go through Dragon Destroyer's team. Right. Champion team will get the first hit because the Acro does have terrain disadvantage. Ooh, a support effect from the Rugops. And you got to take into account, the champion's team is, compi is comprised of dinosaurs that won my mini tournaments. So of course they're going to be good. And well, it's no surprise they outlasted all the other bot teams. Ooh, a counter blitz there. Okay, I better check when each guy's want to swap. So champion's team hit when... Okay, both when HP's below half. Ooh, Dragon Destroyer doesn't get the hit, but can the Champions team does. It's a counter blitz. Like, this Chasmosaurus is a very solid dinosaur. And Rugops is really good as well. Ooh, it's a tie. Ooh, okay, I'll, I'll, I won't swap out the Chasmosaurus because that's pretty much bang on half. Okay, now they're both below half, so I can attempt to swap for both of them. Ooh, is Dragon Destroyer getting the swap? Oh, another counter blitz. Ooh, will it will it survive though? Volcano Burst might change that. Oh, it does! A tie will be enough to kill the Chasmosaurus though. All right, that's once. Oh, it gets a tie! A lucky break for Dragon Destroyer. And he gets the Awaken Mode. So in fact, Dragon Destroyer can win this match right now. Is it gonna be eight out of eight? Oh, I've spent too much time rambling. Okay, that's a crit, that's a hit. Ooh, he does. he's gonna get a lightning strike. Is this gonna be eight out of eight? It was a good start from the champion team, but Dragon Destroyer turning the screw, getting the big hits, getting the vault burst. Oh, it's eight. It's over. It's over for the champions team. Wow. Dragon Destroyer, 8 out of 8, phenomenal, going through to the semi-finals and well, good luck 
Good luck to Dino Hunter or Chain Knights, whichever one of you gets through. Well, on to our third quarter final matchup. Ugh, that's not good. That's definitely not good. Right, in the red corner, for our host Stranger Gamer, we got Mega Raptor. Our host is enjoying a fine tournament thus far, but it's gonna be the toughest test thus far. Going up against Ma. Especially on this field, where Brontekins will have terrain advantage. Backing up the Megs, we got a Blitz type Tarbisaurus. And yet again, this Tarbisaurus is going to have to earn its dough. Yeah, this is going to be... Well, if I pull this off, then yeah. <laughs> really impressive. Okie dokie, for Marn in the blue corner, we got a T-Rex. Marn also enjoying a strong tournament for their, for their first time. A lot of first time is doing well in this tournament. Marn, Master Shion, Dragon Destroyer especially. It's good to see, good to see some newcomers. I always welcome newcomers. Backing up T-Rex, we got Bronthikins. <laughs> or maybe people wanted to enter my tournaments before, but would but didn't want to do like the freebie freeze. So maybe that's the case. I don't I don't know. I do get I do get that people pref some people prefer tag team formats, some people prefer freebie freeze. Next one will definitely be freebie freeze. If I even do another one. Oh that's not good. That's not good. That's bad. He called the bluff. Called his bluff, sweetheart. Right, not the start we want. But it's the start we get. Oh come on, get a crit, get a crit. Yeah, got a crit. Going back into it. Neck Crusher coming in here. This is exactly why I have Neck Crusher. Instead of something like Tornado Toss. So I can do a half ton of damage. Even against fire types. Oh, he fails the swap and a Neck Crusher. Despite the Quick Strike failing, the host starting strong. Right, now we've just got Brontekins to deal with. Well, the T-Rex going down like a lead balloon. Of course, the Brontekins will get the hit because of the terrain advantage. And to be honest, Marn kind of needs that hit. Dino Illusion getting triggered though. Our host's still on top. Ooh, that's a time. You really don't want to get hit by another neck crusher. Can't afford it. Ooh, the Mega Raptor does get the hit. Swap it into Tarbisaurus. Right, time for the Blitz. Time to go for the Firebomb. Oh, it doesn't get it. Instead, Brotnikins is going to get off a big Hydro Cutter and a Light Recovery to come. Man, coming back into this contest. Oh, jeez, that did a lot of damage. Ooh, interesting, because both my dinos have been beaten badly, but Brontekins is still relatively full. And it's got the spectral armor if it needs it. And it's got type advantage over Tarby as well. Yeah, swap in the Mega up, that's a good idea. The Dino Illusion is gone, though. that's the only problem. But no more swapping now for the hosts. Oh, it's a crit! Does that put Marn on top? I think it does. Because this net crush is going to kill Mega Raptor. The bar's getting full. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. I think this is going to be the end. Tell you what, we put up a good fight, and yet Tarby will go for the firebomb. Oh, no, no, it's game. <laughs> oh no! Okay, yeah. Put up a good fight, but man, got it done. Actually, let's see. Would I have got the hit if I didn't go? If it weren't for Blitz, I would have got the next hit. Actually. Ugh. All right. Let's see what would have happened next. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think Man was probably going to win that match. Soon as the Mega Raptor died, that Hydro Cutter did serious amounts of damage, cutting our hosts down to size and knocking them out the tournament. And Marn marches on. Now then. Now then. On to the match that's going to divide everybody. 
Well, let's conclude the quarterfinals, shall we? Ooh. Interesting field. Could both have water dinosaurs in first. Right, for Dino Hunter in the red corner, we have got Spinosaurus. Dino Hunter enjoying a good tournament this time. Especially compared to last time where they didn't win a game and got knocked at the root stage. Seems like a long way away now, doesn't it? When they're on the brink of a semi-final appearance. Backing up the Spino, we've got Aloatrox. Aloatrox definitely pulling its weight as well. Okie dokie, four Chair Knights in the blue corner. we got a Margasaurus. Chair Knights enjoying a strong tournament. Well, also has yet to make a semi-final appearance. So yeah, plenty, plenty at stake for these two. Okay, I'll double check when they want to swap. Okay, so Chain Knight swaps when HP is below half. Dino under the red. <coughs> Swapping could be key in this match, given that both dudes got a water dinosaur. And I think whoever if, whoever gets their swaps off, well, they they could both get their swaps off, but if, whoever gets their swaps off could will set themselves up to win this match. It's, wow, I, 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 this is tough to call. This is really tough to call. Oh, is Dino Hunter getting the first hit? A tragedy of the seer. Boosh. I, I, I hope it'll be close anyway. I don't want another one-sided massacre. Ooh, but Chain Knights responds with the hit of their own. But yeah. That difference in damage is quite contrast. Ooh, you don't want to go for paper, Dino Hunter. Don't want to go for paper. Ooh, got away with one there. Got away with that one. But ties do suit chain knights. Ooh, that's another tie. That should drop a Margosaurus's HP below half, so it's time to swap it out. Oh, massive moment! Futama Cannon! Massive moment for Chain Knight! Puts him in a decisive lead! That Amargosaurus gets swapped out as well, so it will come back in with terrain advantage, should the Steg die. Massive momentum swing that could be! Massive! Okay, Dino Hunter does get a good response here from Dino Hunter. Getting the Tornado Toss. <laughs> Needs to get a crit here, Dino Hunter, to get back in this contest. Chain Knights has a big lead now. And usually, when Dino Hunter is behind, they usually usually lose. So a good omen for Chain Knights. Then. But. The Dino Hunter is getting hit. The swap is going to fail. The Margosaurus will get hit as well. Dino Hunter is slowly clawing back into this. But remember, a Margosaurus has terrain advantage. Oh, there's a tie. Can Chain Knights take Aftrox's HP low enough for a Margosaurus to kill? Don't go scissors, Dino Hunter. It's, it's a death sentence against Steg. Ooh, the spot, the steg does go down, but a Margosaurus gets the next hit because of the terrain advantage. It's a softening beam. Ties will favour Chain Knights. Chain Knights still on top. Okay, yeah. A tie will do it for Chain Knights. A tie will do it. Smash and grab from Dino Hunter. Oh, he's done it! Unbelievable. Wow, that's going to cause a stir up. It's Dino Hunter's day. Chin Heights 
doesn't know what hit them. And they are out. And, well, that was a smash and grab because Cheer Knights was on top. They were on top for practically the whole match, but Dino Hunter hung in there and snatched a victory and snatched a semi-final spot. And, yeah, Cheer Knights, well... Can't really say anything. They can't, can't really say they did anything wrong. Like, let's have a look. Say... Okay, well, say Dino Hunter didn't get the crit. Because if he didn't get a crit, the Amaga would have survived. So let's see what would have happened next. Oh, that would have been a tie. And that would have been lethal for Dino Hunter. So, yeah, that crit. And that crit is the reason Dino Hunter is in the semis. Right, let's have a look at our semi-final matchups, shall we? And, well, need a cool down after that match. Well, that is our semi-final, ladies and gentlemen. We have Maastrician going up against Marn. And Dragon Destroyer going up against Dino Hunter. And this could this is gonna be one hell of a fight. I, I personally think the winner will be one of these two. I think one of these two will win the tournament. I think I think whoever I don't think it matters whoever gets through out of these two, because I don't see either of these two winning. So I do think it'll be Maastrician or Marn winning this tournament. And at the minute, my money's on Maastrician. Really good form, especially after that first match where they just got stomped. Well, Dino Hunter, wow, what a difference a year makes. Like, in the last tournament, they, they were bottom. They didn't win a match. They really struggled. But this time, like, tag, to tag tournaments are their specialty. <laughs> really are. And, well, man, you know, they had a slow start against our host. But, yeah, once they turned the screw, those Hydro Cutters enabled them to turn the screw and win the match. So, yeah, that is it for the quarterfinal round. On to the semi-finals, they say, and is your favourite still in? Are you still in? Who do you think will win this tournament? Pop a comment down below. And until the semi-final round, ta-ta! Mm -hmm.